another toy. Big package for such a little toy. Alrighty, what we have here is the USB flash drive. This is Suda, let's say Super Data Master. It's one terabyte. I seen this. I, I had to get it. Here we go. Doesn't look like much, but let's see if there's anything. Oh yeah. Nothing else came with it. This here is a one terabyte jump drive. One piece metal. Everything on this thing is made of metal. Alrighty. Since some of the manufacturers that make these jump drives will say one terabyte, but you're only getting like 500 gigs. I've seen those before. What we're going to do is we're going to plug this into the computer. And as soon as it pops up there, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on USB. We're going to format this. <clears throat> Just to make sure there's nothing on this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it, go to properties. This is going to let us know that this is actually one terabyte. Now, even though 1000 gigs is one terabyte, this uses the file system as an EXFAT, which the old style jump drives were FATs. This is a EXFAT. The new ones are using, a, I do believe, an NTFC or something. Let's see what that is. Let's see what it would format. Yeah, NTFS. That's what it is. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a read-write test on this. So we're going to see how fast this thing can write or how slow. We'll drop over to English for you. Selecting the target, we're going to select our USB drive. And instead of checking the entire one terabyte, we're only going to do 5,000 megabytes. That is 5 gigs. That is a lot of information. So hopefully this won't take too long. We're going to write and we're going to verify. So we're going to write some information onto it. And we're going to see what the transfer rate is, the write, the writing speed and the reading speed. There we go. On NTFS, volume is a small amount of the capacity is reserved. Therefore, this message is normal. Yes, because we're only doing five. 5,000 of the one terabyte and the NTFS is what they're saying the extra room there being gone is. Alrighty. The writing speed is 16.2 megabytes per second. And the reading is 22.6 megabytes per second, which is pretty impressive for a 2.0 USB. Of course, 3.0 would be a little bit quicker, but it would also be a lot more expensive. So this is good if you want to transfer videos, photos, documents, anything like that. You can also, so that you don't get confused, Right now, I just have four device and drives up here. But when I plug all my hard drives up, it can be kind of confusing if they all say USB. So you can always right click on this, go to properties, change this name to whatever you want to. Oops. 
So I'm going to call it the flash. You hit apply, hit OK, and now it's, it's called the flash drive. And to give you a size difference here, this is an old school 500 gigabyte hard drive. This is a one terabyte hard drive, and this is a one terabyte flash drive. Hard to believe technology has gotten that far advanced that this little flash drive can hold as much information as the large hard drive. And this is a four terabyte hard drive. I would love to see this little flash drive made this size, which is probably right around the corner. So to give you a basis of comparison here, this is a AAA battery. It's not a AA, it's a AAA battery. And these, this is the size of most automotive keys. This little bad boy is shockproof, waterproof, and magnetic proof. So you can hook this on your backpack, your carry bag, your camera bag, anything. And you don't have to worry about it. If sand or dirt gets into the front, you can simply rinse it out. Let it dry, plug it right in your computer, and you're good to go. So I'm going to put a link in the description below. And if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to throw them into the comment section below. And I'll try to answer whatever I can. If you want a, uh, if you want results of a full one terabyte read-write test, just let me know. And I'll run the test and see what we can get. So hopefully it helps somebody. If so, throw a thumbs up down there. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button because we've got some adventures coming up. And you never know where we're going to be at next. And very soon, we're going to be meeting up with some fellow YouTubers that were actually on the Rachel Ray Show. So stay tuned for that.